Hey guys, let me take you on a journey to the good old days. When iOS 7 came out, it was kind of amazing. It was so different. The design was all new, it was flat. Coming from iOS 6 where everything was skeuomorphic, it was quite an upgrade, but the performance wasn't that great. It certainly wasn't remembered for its performance, but you'd be surprised. iOS 11 is not much better. So in this video, like I did with other devices on the 4S and 5, I'd like to compare the iPhone 5S's original iOS 7 firmware to the newest iOS 11. How far has Apple come in the performance of this device? Has it gotten slower? Has it gotten faster? And if so, how much worse or better did it get? These kind of videos are very hard to make, but the results can be pretty satisfying just to see evolutionary where we're at. Because you know, year to year, it seems like your device keeps getting slower, but then when we step back and actually look at the big picture with a video like this, you can actually see exactly where Apple went wrong. And first off, the design. I gotta say, I loved iOS 7's design. The music player in particular, it was so simple apple had to go and make everything a little bit more and more isn't always better so let's compare iOS 7 versus 8 versus 9 versus 10 versus 11 on the iphone 5s now first up of course with the unlock we had slide to unlock on three of them and then press to unlock on the later and the versions I'll be running are 7.1.1, 8.0, 9.3.5, 10.3.3, and of course the newly released 11.4, which has been fantastic so far. And beginning with the usual, a synchronized startup test in 3, 2, 1 and they're off. So I'm using a black iPhone 5S here. Yeah, it's the sore thumb because I just didn't have a white one to match the color scheme. iOS 8 for some reason is pretty rare to find on these. There are more iOS 7 5Ss on eBay and stuff. But anyways, so coming up to the first startup here and drum roll, you guessed it, the original iOS 7. Even though it may have not seemed fast at the time, it certainly is now. Then iOS 8 and then iOS 9 and so on. iOS 10 and and lastly, iOS 11, which isn't too slow. It's about 10 seconds slower than iOS 7, but still there is certainly a difference. And this being the first iPhone with Touch ID, I performed a synchronized Touch ID test, which the iPhone on iOS 8 did win, and then iOS 10 being the last because of that really long drawn out animation. And with the screen on, iOS 8 was last. Interesting. So next up, I'm testing various system animations, and the control center was fastest on the original and the latest. So Apple's got those animations on lockdown pretty good, even on the newest versions. iOS 9, for some reason, was the slowest here. Next up, the notification center with varying degrees of bouncing, but overall about the same on all of them, I'd say. And then spotlight search, so pretty quick on the original. So I'm starting to notice a pattern here when it comes to system animations. The iOS 10 and iOS 9 devices aren't the quickest. It's like it took Apple a good amount of time after switching over to a new interface on iOS 11 to finally get it right. Actually going into Siri though, iOS 11 was the slowest between all of them. What's the capital of California? Asking Siri questions, it was clear that newer isn't better, but older isn't better either here. Very interesting. So this is the same question asked at the same time, different times. What's 10 times 20? This time around asking a math question though, it seems like Siri was using the preloaded calculator to answer that question and she took like no time to do it. Anyways, getting into some app launching, starting with settings was fastest on the original, actually going into some sub menus, also faster on the original, slowing it down, the animations are shorter, it just pops right into it, whereas it takes a little while to load on the newer firmwares. And then the camera, pretty consistent here, but iOS 10 had the fastest time, so you're gonna be able to take a picture a little bit faster on that one. The app are loaded almost immediately on the iOS 7 device, interestingly enough, and music was pretty much loaded almost immediately on the older devices. iOS 8 takes the cake on that one. Also in Safari, for some reason, iOS 7 was a really fast performer despite all of the new advancements in the Java engines and whatnot on the newer devices. Certainly took longer to load. And with another site, Mac Rumors, iOS 8 was the winner here. So interesting results in the Safari test. And you can see the HTML5 scores, compatibility definitely got better the newer the OS on the iPhone, which didn't translate directly to performance though, interestingly. So next up, just wanna try out some third-party applications, Snapchat loaded fast, on the older ones and I'm guessing as more features got added bloatware it just got slower and slower because the older ones were running an older version and the very same thing with Instagram so it's very interesting to see how it just loads faster on the older firmwares all right and let's go ahead and get some benchmarks going here with a Geekbench I am using an older version Geekbench 3 on the 
older devices, they just don't support the newer version. So this may or may not affect the actual numbers, which actually were quite high. I'm wondering about that. If you guys have an answer, let me know. But uh, in comparison to the newer ones, definitely quite the difference here. And I'm not entirely sure it's based just on the OS. Also, I ran an Antutu on compatible devices and measured the actual heat output of the hottest point on the device while running the test. And as you can see, the newer the device, the more intense it got. And I wasn't able to run it on iOS 8. So after running this test and seeing it firsthand, I gotta say iOS 11 isn't so bad. It actually excels in some areas, although slower in others. So I gotta say the iPhone 5S is ready for iOS 12, maybe a watered down version of it, but certainly Apple could bring some major optimizations to this phone. So I'm hoping that does happen. So thanks for watching guys. This was not an easy test to make. So I really would appreciate just one like on your end. Thanks a lot guys. Peace.